little eye look that was inspired by John McLean. If you don't know who he is, then you better check out the link down below. He's an amazing makeup artist. Um, he does other things as well, if you look into his background, but he works as a makeup artist. He's quite ambiguous, uh, but he has some very, very pale skin. Like, uh, the paler shade of Fenty is actually a little too dark. Uh, so, um, he did an eye look the other day, and I really liked it, so I tried it out for myself. Um, made a few adjustments for my own personal taste type thing, so I thought I would share it with you today. And all that I'm going to be using is these things here. So I have my Metal Matte palette. I'm only going to be using one shadow out of that. I have my Obscure Eye Pigment, which is a matte eye pigment from Glamador Eyes. A black eyeliner, mainly for my waterline. Uh, black mascara from my upper lashes, my purple mascara for the bottom lashes, not that it looks purple, and one double-ended brush. Uh, I also have a lipstick for afterwards, but uh, that's beside the point. So I'm going to sketch in a little bit closer. Foundation doesn't look the best today, so just try and ignore that. I'll scoot you in a bit closer and we will get into it. Okay, so I have already primed my eyes and put a powder over it, like set the primer. Um, I just used my Lowell face powder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tip a little bit of my uh, pigment, just because it makes it easier. Not that much. Um, into the lid. I'm going to start off by dipping it in there and then tapping it off really, really well. This brush actually came out of the palette. It's not even like a particularly expensive brush. It's just a, I think it's model's own. It's came with a pack. So I tap off as much of the excess as possible. And then I'm just going to go into the socket area Just disperse that really gently. And when I have that blended out, I'm going to go back into it, pick up some more, and use it to build up the colour. So it's effectively only going to be one real colour used. This pigment is particularly good for this because it doesn't, it, um, it actually builds up really well. We can get quite a bit of depth with it just by layering it up over and over again. So I'm just going to keep doing that till I get to the intensity that I want. I'm also going to just brush it up a little bit on the outside edge. Just a little bit. And make sure there are no harsh lines anywhere. I'm going to bring just a little bit on the outside edge of the lid, not very much. So it just gives us definition to the eyes without being over the top. Then what I'm going to do, now that I have done that, I'm going to take the flat end of this brush again into that obscure colour and just run it underneath the lash line, meeting it up with the corner.
going to use a fluffy end just to make sure that it's nicely blended. When John did this, he had um, a side of more uh, a warmer tone underneath his eyes to bring out the blue in his eyes. It was sort of a yellowy, orangey sort of colour. Um, my eyes are grey. Um, <laughs> And I could pretty much use anything. You could use any colour you liked underneath just to bring in some extra colour. Um, but I decided to keep it the same. It was just easier that way. And now I'm going to go into the Metal Matte palette. And I am going to use What, which is this green shadow here. And I'm going to use the flat end of this brush and I'm just going to press it along the outer edge of the top eyelid and the outer edge of the bottom eyelid. Just getting a little bit of colour, a bit more definition in that outer edge. Just use a fluffy end just to blend it a little and make sure it's not too harsh on that bottom line. That is basically the eyeshadow done. I'm going to take my Lancome black eye pencil and just do the waterline. Just to thicken up the look of the base of the lashes. This unfortunately does transfer a little bit, so it'll probably end up down the bottom as well. Then I'm going to apply a couple of coats of mascara to the top lashes and a coat of purple mascara to the bottom lashes. That's it, I look done. Super duper simple. It doesn't take very long, but it still looks like you've made a bit of an effort. I'm going to finish off the look with my uh, So Susan Lip Dome in Black Carrot. I have a lip balm on my lips, which is making this way smoother than it normally is. I could have taken it off, but... the completed look. If you enjoyed this then click the thumbs up button down there and click the subscribe button so you can see what other content I upload. Don't forget to go out and go and check out John McLean's channel. If you love makeup you will probably love him. 
uh, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!